Okay, uh, hello everyone. I'm Szarek Walczyk. I'm a student of AGH University of Science and Technology in Krakow and member of AGH Space System Scientific Club. Uh, I'm very glad to be here today and uh, I want to say that we found the ROS very useful in our project, especially in a Martian rover project designed for European Rover Challenge. That's why I want to really say thank you to the whole community. Uh, our first rover, Phobos, has a rocker buggy suspension, known, for example, from Curiosity rover. Its motor drivers communicate via CAN interface and can be added or removed without any effort. Uh, we used two onboard computers, Raspberry Pi, for communication and control, and uh, laptop for stereo vision and visual odometry. Uh, we started everything uh, from simulation in Gazebo. At the beginning, it was only a simple box with, uh, bo with few cylinders as a wheels. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, it's quite a big model. Uh, oh yeah, uh, currently we can simulate uh, rover dynamics, uh, motors, controllers, encoders, IMU, cameras, particularly everything we need to fully test and develop our software. With this simulation, we tested uh, extended Kalman filter, uh, visual odometry, wheel odometry, IMU, before rover could even drive through. Uh, we used uh, Ervis to visualize uh, data from uh, uh, 3D map from stereo vision uh, and the rover's position and uh, pose of its joints. Uh, we used ROS also for uh, estimating loads occurring in joints. Uh, in this simulation, we wrote a plugin uh, which estimated those loads during t uh, traveling in a rough terrain. And uh, we used those data later in FAM simulation. Uh, we also create a plugin to simulate differential mechanism with two PD controllers, as it's not possible in URDF to create uh, closed kinematic chains. I know it's not a perfect solution, but it just works. Uh, we use ROS also in our vision system, uh, as we got some failure uh, with our FPGA-based camera drivers. One week before competition, we had to really fast uh, create a new solution, and this was uh, for NanoPi microcomputers, streaming uh, image from USB cameras via Ethernet network. And with ROS, this was as easy as exporting ROS Master URE. Uh, last thing I want to say uh, is that I learned ROS during inter internships in the Robotics Inventions Company. If not they, I would probably never learn ROS and never bring it to my team. Uh, that's why I want to really encourage everyone to promote ROS in student society because it's still underestimated and not well known on many universities. Thank you and see you in space. <laughs> <laughs>